Well, sometimes he wants to get my attention, he'll peck me. Peck but not, not uh, hurt you. Nah, nah, he's my boy, right? Boy? Cool, man. I like that. That's cool. What do you think of all this protest stuff going on? Oh man, it's just more madness. madness. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I mean, you know, at my age, I've been around a long time, and I ain't nothing changed. Were you born and raised here in San Francisco? I've been there since sixties, but I'm seventy years old. So all I'm saying is that all of my seventy years of, of cognizance, it's always been the same lip service, some kind of way back and forth. Nothing, nothing never really changed. So. Nothing really changed, yeah. Not really. Do you think there's a problem? Uh, have you ever had a problem with the police since you've been here in the 60s? Uh, well, I've had Black Lives Matter issues with them, you know, yeah, I've had issues with them, you know. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Profile and all that kind of stuff. You would, know. would you go as far as to say all this was necessary? Well, it's, it's, I think it's necessary to be heard, you know, not necessarily to be violent, because more violent brings more violent. But it's, there's all, it's got to be a way. more know. violent. Yeah, it just brings more violent. But like I said, I've been here a long time, and I just feel like if people could sit down at a bargaining table, and talk, I think a lot could get done. I think you're absolutely you know right, sir. I really think so, you know, but when they don't, when they dismiss that and don't let you have a voice, then people feel left out, you know what I mean? They people feel like, still, like yes. you know what I mean? Those are wise words coming from you, sir. But they, they feel left out, they feel like, well, you know, hopeless, you know, there's nothing there for them. You know? So then that's when you get all this madness because they figure, well, this is only, it's like a child. If you talk to a child, mm -hmm. a child will respond, but, if you don't do that, what they do? They cry, they do all kinds of stuff to get your attention. Yeah. And, and adults, is just, they're just the same thing. Same. Adults have, are supposed to have learned a more uh, reasonable way to communicate. That's right. They're, they're very limited with their skills. They don't have much options on their table when they can't get what they want. They gotta scream, they gotta cry. Exactly. And so you see the same thing in adults. It's almost the same thing. If you've got law officials, it's like a parenting and you can't, you know, you got rules and regulations. What are they going? What else is left to do? But scream and holler. What? It's the same yeah. concept. Yeah, and I, you see, I've seen videos all the time of people going up to hearings mm -hmm. and for their cities, and they get completely ignored. They oh, sit there and they say, "Give the grievances." Like this isn't helping. This law isn't helping, and they just like whatever, and they dismiss them. Your time is up. Bye bye. And they, they wonder why the people get mad. Well, you're not listening. I mean, in my opinion, it seems like a lot of people are being ignored. That's the what people it is. are being ignored. Is. We're living in a time now where it shouldn't be like that. With uh, social media and all the you know the information is available but that's what's making it like this because before social media it was still going on they just didn't have a platform now that they have a platform the people that's running the show are not really uh responding yeah they're not responding the way they should you know what i mean it's it's just it's, it's not it's not right yeah you know what i mean and so you're going to get this so the, in the past People would do this, and sooner or later they kind of calm down. They throw them a few trinkets and crumbs, and uh -huh. they kind of calm down. But people are tired of being tired. When they get tired of being tired, there's nothing else left to do. There's there no more talking, because, you know what I mean? They wouldn't hurt. But that's, that's why you get all the screaming and all the whatever. And then the law officials might say, well, that's wrong. Well, it's a double door. It's wrong on their part, too. You know what I mean? They just yeah. sit down and listen to each other. Too many politicians have found the easy way out to just give them a little bit of what they want to shut them up for now. And they don't think about what happens when that wears off. It's been going on forever, you know what I mean? Oh, Rome, yeah. Rome did it. Rome used to do it. They used to, you know, they call it bread and sugar. Rome, yes. The same thing. Ain't no anyway. You know what I mean? They give them some food, <clears throat> and they want you to calm down and go back to your way of life. But really, you're just a throwaway to them. That's all they look at you. They're not looking at you as a real citizen. You're just a throwaway. Yep. You just shut up and go away. <laughs> shut up and move. Exactly. I, I got to get ready to go. Go for it. Nice talking with you, though. You too. Great. To, thanks for the interview. Yes. I appreciate it.